Welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt Atchity, editor in chief of Rotten Tomatoes, Alonzo Duraldi from The Wrap. Uh, it's the Fat Beardo Show. Woo! <laughs> We're here. Uh, we are talking about Fun Size, a uh, new film from Paramount and Nickelodeon Pictures, right? Yes. Uh, it is the directorial debut of Josh Schwartz. The, it's directed by Josh Schwartz. Maybe it's his debut, maybe it's not. Uh, he's the creator of uh, The O.C. and Chuck, among other things. And it is uh, Halloween night in Cleveland, and uh, Victoria Justice stars as a young girl who is supposed to be keeping an eye on her eight-year-old brother, but he scampers off and things get crazy. And Schwartz has obviously watched a few John Hughes movies and Adventures in Babysitting one or two times in his day. Take a look. How much trouble could he get into? You might want to put your mask on. You're about to be an accessory to a major crime. It's my duty to tell you you are one step away from total social suicide. Trick or treat, bitch! This movie was cute. I, I laughed. I laughed a yeah, lot. We, we were at the screening last night. We yeah. laughed a bunch. It was funny. Now, I, I thought it was pretty well written. It was pretty smart. Mm -hmm. um, it had some, you know, it, it got a little bit schmaltzy in places, but it didn't do the typical teen comedy thing. Like, it had some clever stuff going on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I, I like that it's, it, it's about, I mean, it's one of those movies where the nerd teens are way too attractive, you know, which happens a lot. Or right. like, you know, oh, the social outcast that could be an underwear model, you know. But um, but they just were, like me. Hey, there you go. <laughs> but they were smart and they're funny right. and they were they were appealing. Like these were actually kids you wouldn't you know uh, run screaming from if you met them in real life. Um, you're right. That there is some there is some schmaltzy stuff. The 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 lead character's dad is dead, and so right. you know the the eight year old and kid mom has a, played by Chelsea, Chelsea Handler. Handler. Or, yeah, she's, she's like kind of nutso. Right, she's dating, dating a twenty-something year yeah, old. Yeah, named Kevin. Right, so it's not, not Stephen, not, not Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, um, and the eight-year-old kid hasn't talked in a year or whatever. Right. And so some of that stuff they lay on a little thick. It, it kind of undercuts the comedy. But the interplay between the characters is fun. The sort of the the, the situations are realistically crazy. I mean, yes. they're they're not insane sort of movie only kind right. of things you know they 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 felt real and i you know i, I mostly had fun with it I except know, that there is a certain element that is insane movie only right and which it's is the, the eight-year-old kid the eight-year-old kid gets lost and as a parent i spent most of this movie horrified <laughs> it's like oh my god call the cops that kid's been kidnapped so the kid gets separated from his older sister right and he doesn't speak and he's dressed like spider-man with a with a missing arm and he wanders into a convenience store to get a slushy mm. and then goes riding around with the convenience store clerk and, right. and like who, the who even has to say out loud okay i'm, I'm not I'm, enticing this eight-year-old boy to get into my car but it, he's still getting in your car right you know and, and i think that like from a from the standpoint of the rhythm of the movie like it works for what they do mm. but that's at the point where i'm like oh god <laughs> like somebody somewhere is panicking about that child and i felt like the sister was not upset enough. Well, she I, does spend the movie looking for him. She does call the cops, but because right. it's Halloween night, they're like, they can't be bothered and they hang up on right. her or whatever. So, I mean, they, they at least address that this is going on, right. but it's still going on. This is not a movie for little kids, despite no, it's the not, Nickelodeon it's, brand. Right. It's, not a movie it's definitely sort of older tweens, younger teens is right. the main it's, target It's like audience. junior high and high school age yeah. kids. Parents are gonna go berserk at this movie. If you're a parent, do not go see this. You will have an aneurysm. Yeah, but I laughed but, a lot. Yeah, I, it's I, pretty I think fun. This is a, you know, I think that every generation of teenagers needs their one crazy night movie. You know, Sixteen Candles, Days of Confused, um, Can't Hardly Wait. There's like this, right? You know, even going back to American Graffiti, there's this proud tradition of the one crazy night right. movie. All right. So what's your score? Yeah, so I give it a seven. I I. I have trouble getting past just the awfulness of oh my god <laughs> I don't that have kids, kid's been so kidnapped not right exactly <laughs> and I can only give it a six but Fair still enough. you know it's go a, see it the six and a half that's not bad yeah check it out what where is it on, oh it's not is it's, it on the tomato yeah meter? it's only like thirty three percent on the uh, tomato meter uh, it's fun.